welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Rina and I'm Nitte from Norway and I'm trying to organize my yarn stash. My yarn stash was really small and manageable not that long ago, but it's just been going, growing like crazy the last year and I did organize it in January and it was quite organized then but it's grown a lot since then and also when I use my yarn I'm not that good at keeping it organized so since I'm really trying to not buy any more yarn this year I really want my yarn to be really like enticing and for me to go yarn sh shopping in my stash so I want to go through all of my yarn uh, figure out what uh, yarn I have that I have plans for and yeah just organize it in a way that makes it more <laughs> likely for me to grab the yarn I have in my stash that I have plans for than to go and find plans on the internet and buy <laughs> yarn for it so that's what I'm going to do I do have quite a lot of yarn so I think it's going to take me a couple of days um, just there is yarn everywhere I've already started um, I've already started going through a couple of days ago so now at least most of the yarn is in this room when I started this there was yarn in every room of the house so I've already made progress but it's definitely going to take me some time to go through everything weigh it see how much I have and find a plan for as much of the yarn as possible and then figure out how I'm going to arrange it. I have these shelves here, I have one there and then I have a bigger one here and um, my plan is that my plants will go in those shelves because those are really like there and I see them very easily so hopefully my like plants that I want to knit being in those will make that more likely to happen and then the yarn with the plan will have to be on this desk and in um, just plastic um, bags like that underneath the desk probably. My goal this year is to knit through enough of my stash for this desk to be free because I have a sewing machine. Um, let's see, I have a sewing machine back here. You can see that um, and I would love to learn to sew this year so I need to get my desk free of yarn so I can set up like sewing over there. But that's what I'm going to be doing the next few days and I thought as a bit of extra motivation for myself I would take you guys along with me.
finally, after working on my art stash for a good few days, especially today and yesterday, I have managed to go through all of it. I have managed to put all of it in the function in little note where you put your yarn stash in. So everywhere I go, I will know exactly what's in my yarn stash, how much of everything, the colors, everything, which makes it much easier to plan my future projects because I know exactly what's in my stash, in what yarn, what colors, everything. And that also gave me exactly how much I have in my yarn stash now. And before I started this, my guess was that it would be around 40 kilos. And the answer is, uh, I'll put it in a screenshot here. Can't remember the number exactly, but I know it is 35 kilos. So I am quite <laughs> pleased with that. It is just a few meters shy of being 100,000 meters of yarn, which is a lot. This yarn I have gotten, I've bought some of it. I have gotten a lot of it through gifts or inheriting other people's stash. So some of it I've bought and that yarn is often bought with a plan and then the yarn I've inherited not so much, but I've tried to plan what to do with most of the yarn. And I think I've accomplished that fairly well. I did that yesterday while I went through it. And then today, as you might see, I have finally um, been able to sort everything where I wanted to be in my own stash. Hopefully now this will make it easier for me to like shop from my stash instead of um, buying new yarn. So that's my goal. But I thought I'd take you on a stash tour show where all of the different yarn went, what my ideas are and the yarn with the plan. I thought I'd show you what my plans are and talk a bit about them, those, but let's just get into that. First off, so you can see, this is kind of what my yarn stash looks like now. I definitely don't have quite enough storage for all of it, um, but we can start down here this yarn these are like my current projects so they won't be living here at all they will be going downstairs with me and live in the shelf i have for my current project downstairs and then over here in these pink ones i have my summer yarn drops cotton merino and then over here in that clear one and these two lilac ones i have like winter yarn that it's definitely too warm to be knitting with right now so i've just removed that from the equation and i think as long as my yarn stash is this big that i will be having like a seasonal yarn stash and clearing away what's not seasonally appropriate and then over here i have planned baby nets and to just make it easier for myself. I have separated them and written down the project and how many <laughs> grams of yarn I need and the size just to not have to think about that at all. And over here I have all the plans for my son. I can go more in detail with these plans later. On the desk, that's where all of the seasonally appropriate yarn without a plan lives. Uh, hopefully me being able to look at it throughout the day and it being on display makes it easier for me to plan what to do with it. That's why I've done it like this. Um, but I think there are a lot of really nice baby knits here. I think that's primarily what this is going to turn into. And then of course I have my shelf here with more like hand dyed yarn and just yarn in hanks. Those are there. Then of course my swatch. Um, I'm so pleased to finally have that put up on the wall. And over here, the top two shelves, those are gift nets. And then the rest of this is uh, projects I've planned for myself, except for this little bit of yarn right here, the flora and the golden brown tin marine oil because I just didn't know where to put that so that is there as well but that's kind of the layout of my yarn stash and I am quite pleased with it I think it will be better once this is cleared away but so far this is my yarn stash and I think this is as well as it could turn out with all of the new yarn I have now and I'm so excited to begin to knit from this shelf this is like where my main pl plans are, except for, of course, the baby nets and toddler nets, but this is a shelf I'm really excited about. 
So as you can see, that's my uh, yarn stash, what the layout is like. I hope this is a layout that will work for me and make me knit a lot from my stash and make me want to knit a lot from my stash. I really hope this like keeps me motivated to be able to look at all the beautiful yarn both with and without the plan. But I thought I can share my plans and I'll start with this one because this is just the easiest one to show because here I have really organized it just to keep it really easy when I'm knitting big knits, um, mostly gifts. So I have, for example, with this one, this is going to be an anchor's blouse I can read here in the smallest size, zero to one month, and that I need 50 grams for. Um, and then the same yarn, this is Bebe Merino from Nille. And then this is the same yarn, but I have two skeins, so this is going to be the size three to six months. And then I, when I was looking at my stash, I thought, oh my God, I must have some yarn for the Holger, both the toddler sized Holger and the baby sized one. And I found some yarn, some of my Drops Baby Merino that I think will be really great for the Holger baby set. So that's what I have here. It is a bit hard to see through the plastic, but there's a mix of really small scraps like this one and whole skeins that I think will turn into hopefully a really pretty uh, Holger baby set. And this is also enough for the size three to six months. And then I have three bags here with Sunnes Garn Smart which I am going to knit Ingrid sweater babies with. So both of these um, darker pinks are going to be the smallest size. I'm not 100% sure what the smallest size is. I forgot to look at the month sizes. I just looked at the, um, how much yarn would be needed. And for the smallest size, you need 150 grams. And I had that times two. So this is going to turn into I think zero to three month uh, in grid. And then I have light pink in the same yarn, Sun's Gun Smart, and this is going to be the biggest size. And this, it's the Ingrid sweater baby, so the biggest size is like nine to 12 months, I'm pretty sure. Um, so those are going to be three Ingrid sweaters that I think is going to be really cute. Um, and I have some more Drops Baby Merino. This is going to be Synnedrakt by Knits by Jacobsen in either zero months or three months because both of those sizes need a hundred gram. Um, then I have some Knitting for Olive in the color Dark Ochre or Ochre or um, how you pronounce that and that's going to be Amanda suit in size six to nine months because that takes 150 grams. Um, these two skeins of um, Baby Supremo Merino is going to be a Monday suit, the smallest size, zero to one month. Um, and then these four skeins of Drops Baby Merino is going to be a set. This is in the color chocolate. Uh, the plastic does make it a bit hard to show, but I'm very pleased with having this already sorted while I was in the mindset of figuring out projects. I just put this in plastic bags so I can remember them because I don't make baby knits all of the time but I do like to keep them on my needles so this just makes it easy for me to pick one and just cast on and I already have figured out the size and the yarn and the pattern and everything so I don't really have to think about it baby knits can just become like a mindless thing to me but this yarn is going to be it's going to be teddy pants in the smallest size zero to one month it's going to be Olive's wrap by Knitting for Olive in zero to one month and the Baby Bear Bonnet also by Knitting for Olive in zero months. The teddy pants are by Petite Knit. So these four skeins is going to become that set. And then at the bottom here I have like chunkier yarn that's going to be like bigger items. So here this Knit Me Merino, uh, that's Merino and Alpaca, is going to be turned into Mini Augustine's number one, that blanket, because that's just a really nice blanket to knit and everyone I've given it to has really loved it, so I want to make more of them and I had exactly six skeins of this yarn, which fit 
the pattern perfectly. And then this is Knitting for Olive Heavy Merino, which is a yarn I've never tried before, so I'm really excited about it. And this is going to turn into the um, baby bear suit that Knitting for Olive has in the size 6 months, because with 5 skeins that fit the 6 month size perfectly which I am also super excited about. And then both of these two, uh, this is Drops Lima in the color powder pink, and this is um, Muk Vestavin in uh, the color blue. Both of these are going to tur be turned into Selma sleep suit in the smaller size, zero to three months. Uh, both of these are approximately 300 grams. So this one is a bit more than 300 and this one is a bit less. Um, but those are all of my baby plans and I'm really pleased with this idea of just packing them like that and labeling them and just turning the whole baby knitting thing mindless. But I'll just pack those away real quickly and then we can move into the knits I've planned for my son. And the knits I've planned for my son I also have in this big box because I just found it easier to do it that way, to like separate it from all of the other yarn and there weren't any more space in here uh, when I came to my son's plants. If there were, I would have my son's plants in this shelf, but didn't have the space to do that. And for um, the patterns I'm going to do for him, I'm actually going to do some new ones, so I'm just going to get my notes. I have my notes, so we can get started and I've tried in this to sort it so that the thing I want to knit like right now is at the top and the thing I can wait to knit is at the bottom. So right at the top I have yarn for Elm's cardigan by Petit Knit. It's a really nice simple raglan cardigan but it has pockets which I think is really nice and I thought I would use that opportunity to try out Cotton Merino, that's also a yarn I've never used before, but it does feel a lot softer than I had anticipated. I thought it would feel a lot more like cotton and be a bit more stiff, but it really isn't. And I am really motivated now to start knitting up a bit more of a summer wardrobe for my son, and I'm very pleased with it being 50-50 cotton and merino, because I feel like there is more of a point to knitting it then. If it was 100% cotton, I probably wouldn't bother knitting it for my son because we have, we don't have a lot of summer here. But I'm really excited to try this out and with this kind of, um, I'd call it green, forest green maybe, of the cotton merino, I want to do the Ellen cardigan. And I think I'm going to do it in four to five years size just so you can have it for both this summer and next summer because summer is so short here i want him to be able to have the same cardigan for two summers in a row so that's my plan with that that's uh, probably something i want to cast on pretty soon and then while we're at it with the cotton merino i really want to use this navy blue cotton merino if you can see that, the navy blue cotton merino. I really want to use that for, um, what's it called? The teddy bear sweater. <laughs> As if you've watched me before, you might know that I love the teddy bear sweater. It's a really nice pattern that I just love to have in every size. And as we're coming up on his third birthday, he's starting to grow out of a lot of his sweaters in the two to three year old range, of course. So we, I need to start making him sweaters for the next, size he does have a few but he does not have a teddy bear sweater so I thought the teddy bear sweater for this next year could be in cotton merino he has a lot of other wool sweaters so it's fine with one in cotton and merino so I thought that's what I'm going to do in this so that's what uh, that is going to be in three to four year old <laughs> size um, and that is what I'm going to do with the cotton merino and then I also have some of the baby merino which also is a bit summery just because it is thin and with this yarn I think I want to try out the Nordby pullover by Knitting for Olive. I've never tried that pattern before but it seems to fit how much yarn I have left in these colors 
these are the colors I used for my Direction Loop pullover and I really want my son to have a matching striped sweater and the Norby pullover uses a little enough yarn that I have enough yarn and it looks okay. I think I'll have to see if I find any other striped sweaters because I'm not 100% sure but that's what I think I'll do in the size of four years. Um, so all of these are projects I want to be able to cast on pretty soon. Another of the projects I want to get to right away is this and uh, this is Drops uh, Melino Extra Fine in the medium grey colour I'm pretty sure and with this I'm going to finally knit him the Williams overalls that I've been talking about for so long but I feel like it's more likely it's going to happen now that it's all sorted with the plans instead of just laying in a heap like that. Um, but that's also a project I'm definitely going to do. I'm going to do that in the biggest size. Unfortunately, Williams overalls does not go higher than three to four years. So this is going to be the last time I make my son a pair of these pants. So I really have to get to it before he grows out of that size. Um, and then I have the yarn for a Friday sweater. We used the Friday sweater we have recently and I noticed that it's starting to become a bit short in the arms. Mainly the arms are what it gets short first with his sweater. So this time I'm going to do the length of the arms longer than all of his sweaters so they can last longer. But it's starting to get too small so I'm making him a new one. and. I thought this combo would be so cute, like red as the main color and then white stripes in Flora, of course. I love Flora, I love Flora for knits for myself. This one is Flora um, and I love it for my son. His current Friday sweater is also Flora. So I'm really excited for this and I love the Friday sweater. I've made it in every single size so can't wait to make it in the next one. That's also going to be three to four years. Just so I can keep uh, knitting him a Friday sweater in every single size. Um, then another thing that's actually going to be in size, I think, that's, yeah, this is also going to be a 3 to 4. I think this is the last plant thing I have in 3 to 4. And that is, of course, yarn for an acro sweater. This is Lima in the color chalk. Um, my fiance actually came home today or yesterday and told me that uh, our son's work sweater is starting to become a bit too small for the last, I think, year and a half, two years. My son's uh, anchor sweater has been his work sweater and now he's starting to grow out of that again. And that means I'm making him a new one. I love uh, Drops Lima for those sweaters, especially since we use it as a work sweater. Drops Lima works really well for that. So, and since he works in it, I want it to not be too big on him and him, for him to have to grow in, into it since he works a lot with using it. So that's also going to be three to four month, uh, years. I really need to start knitting because I have a lot of plans that need to be done by like July for his birthday. Um, and then the next plan, I just need to see the sizes I planned here. But I think the next plan is this, again, more of the red. If you um, have seen from me before, you might recognize this red from my Christmas dress. This is exactly the yarns I used, the red Flora with the red kid silk. And I have quite a lot of leftovers from that. And my plan <laughs> ever since I made that dress is to, uh, has been to make my son something matching and the idea came to me yesterday and that is to take the teddy bear sweater which I love and to make it into a jacket. I've done that one time before for his christening outfit. That time I did it with uh, Merino Extra Fine but I just split it down the middle and it back and forth. So that's what I'm going to do this time as well but for his Christmas outfit and since I want him to match with me for as long as possible <coughs> I am going to make it in the size four to five years old, I think. Um, yes, four to five years old. So that's what this yarn is going to be. I looked at the pattern, three of each should be enough, enough for 
the 4 to 5 and then you can use it this Christmas and next Christmas and hopefully the Christmas after that even maybe <laughs> um so this is also a plan I look forward to but I don't have to knit on this until like fall winter time when we are nearing Christmas so that is right at the bottom of this box and then a plan that's not necessarily a priority this summer but the yarn is telling me that maybe it should be oops I lost one of the skeins but this is merino extra fine in white and then this one blue one and immediately when I saw this yarn I was like this has to be a merchise sweater so that is what it's going to be I showed the finished uh, sweater to my fiance and he really liked it as well I have a merchise sweater and I've been wanting a match ever since I made mine two years ago I think so I'm really excited for this merchise sweater I'm going to be making it in the 45 your size I think yeah four to five years so I don't have to make it this year because it will also fit if I make it by next summer but these summers give me a lot of summer vibes and an oversized merchise sweater this summer would also be really cute so if I have any free time in between all my other knits this summer this is definitely something I would love to cast on um, and then this is the next to last plan. I'm almost done, I promise. This is Merino oil, Sanesgar Merino oil in the navy blue. I got this yarn at their outlet, so it's not 100% perfect, but I am really excited to use it. I really love Sanesgar Merino oil, it's so soft. But with this yarn, I've been thinking a lot about what sweater to actually knit my son. Um, I knew it was going to be a sweater, but couldn't figure out which, but now I have decided that this is going to be the Chunky Rib Sweater by Yule Clothing and hopefully I have enough yarn to make it the 4 to 5 year size. Um, so that's what this is going to be. This is probably not going to be something I make now because the yarn is quite dark and the size is quite big, so I think this is going to be more of a winter project for me. And then the last plan, which I am really excited about but it will probably not happen for quite some time is this yarn um, and as you might see it's six different colors and that means that this is or is it not I am one skein short, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Let me just see here if I can find the skein I was going to use with it. Um, but I have lost one of the skeins. But my plan for this is to find one of the other skeins that's white but I'm going to make this into a whole group sweater for my son so my plan is for these two colors the dark ish brown and the black to be the stripes on the body and then for the pinks to be the sleeves and the gray to be either the neckline or the hem and then the white to be either the neckline or the, or the hem but I realize I need to find white I thought I had it here with me but it must have slipped through the cracks but it's in my stash somewhere um, and this the plan for this is to knit it in the five to six year size so this is really big because that's what fit uh, how much yarn I have the best um, so I probably won't prioritize this anytime soon but it looks like a really fun knit so it might sneak in there sometime during the fall but definitely not before then. But but those are all of my knitting plans for my son and the only thing that's left then is my knitting plans for myself and some gifts. When talking about plans for myself I just have to mention my current plans because some of my current plans, honestly most of them are or projects, my current projects are really big and a lot of my own stash is yarn for them, especially my wedding dress. Um, this is not the best example because more hair isn't that heavy, but my wedding dress takes up 
a lift of my yarn just for the main part of the dress. I think I have almost two kilos of yarn plus the mohair so I think I have uh, two kilos, a bit more than two kilos of yarn just for the wedding dress. Um, that's of course a plan project and then also the um, Paul um, cardigan that is also a lot of yarn. I think this is like five, six, seven hundred grams of yarn as well uh, with the kid silk and the uh, baby merino. Then I also have a blanket under here with air um, and that is 500 uh, this blanket um, that is 500 grams of yarn and then of course my ingrate and the yarn for this is a kilo in total which I won't use all of that up for the ingrate but I think I'll end up using like 700 of it maybe so when I finish this, pro this project I'm going to be able to cross a lot of yarn out of my stash but until the project is 100% finished the yarn still counts as in my stash but those are my active projects and then we can move on to my plans here I don't know if you see the top uh, yarn but I can pick it, pick it down I'm not going to take all of it I'm just going to take one skein from each but first up we have this alpaca ull I have this in two colors actually this lighter one and then this darker one, it's like light old pink and then dark old pink. And this one I have, I have 300, 450 grams of this and I have 150 grams of this. And with both of these I'm going to do sofa shawls. So with this one I'm going to do the biggest version, the 300 gram one, and the smallest, the 150 gram one. And with this one I'm just going to do the smallest, the 150 gram one. So with this I'm going to get three sofa shawls, which are the perfect gift. I've given away a couple of them and everyone has loved them and they are really simple gifted as well. I think it would be great for Christmas. Hopefully this Christmas I'll make gifts before Christmas instead of after so that's part of my goal for that and in this shelf it's that's fully packed I have a yarn for sweaters that I'm gifting away actually this yarn I have gotten from my friend to knit her a sweater so of course I'm going to just knit her that sweater and give the yarn back to her and this yarn I've been gifted and I'm plan and this is a uh, yarn that I've got from my friend is going to be a uh, Augustine's number one by Augustine's DK. She really wants that one, but she doesn't really find the time in her day to make it, and I really want to knit it, so that's a good deal to me. Um, and then this one is um, Air and Kid Silk Ala, I think, which I've never tried the Kid Silk Ala. Um, and this yarn. Hopefully I'm going to turn into a chunky Sunday sweater. I think that would be perfect for my friend, the friend I knit the Sunday sweater mohair um, to. She loves her Sunday sweater mohair, she talks about it almost every day. So I thought a chunky version as well would be nice and she also likes these colors. Uh, and that's the same friend that I'm knitting this for. This by the way is Merino Extra Fine and Kid Silk, just both in the beige. They're pretty stuck in there and I don't want this all to fall out so I'm just going to leave them. But this is two sweater quantities that I'm going to knit up for a friend. I don't know if I have the time. She really wanted this sweater by summertime but uh, I don't know if I have the time. This one I'm definitely going to do in the fall but I might try to get to this in the summer. We'll see how much knitting time I have. And then this shelf, this shelf I think is my favorite. Um, and here I have the yarn for two blouses number one. These blouses are definitely going to be different because I'm going to make one in cotton merino. And cotton merino is uh, DK uh, weight yarn, so that's a lot thicker than Drops Baby Merino, which I'm doing the other one in. 
but I have done a gauge swatch bit uh, Bebe Merino and I like the fabric I get with that for the blouse number one and, and the cotton merino is of course a much more appropriate yarn for the pattern um, if you look at what the cat pattern recommends that you use so I think both of these are going to turn into really nice, nice blouse number ones and this one is going to be like more light, airy, breathable and this one is going to be a bit thicker but with cotton so I think one in each of these and my knitting knit, summer knitted wardrobe would be really nice I feel like they kind of accomplish the same but kind of accomplish different things so with a blouse in each one I'm really set um, so this is old pink I think and this one is turquoise maybe or like bright blue I really love both of these colors can't wait to start and then the last summer knit I have is not in a super exciting color it's in black um, but with the black bed merino I'm going to knit the camisole number nine I did that last year as well in bright green and I love the camisole number nine but I also think camisole number nine would be really nice to have as a basic piece and bright green isn't that basic so I also wanted to have to have it in black just so I can wear it whenever and with everything um, so that's another summer knit so I have these three summer knits for myself and I think that's the perfect amount because I will hopefully manage to do it um, before or during summer and I don't need that many <laughs> summer nets. I'm also trying to do it in wool and materials that means I can also use it during the winter on its own or as layering pieces so I think that will fit perfectly into my wardrobe and then down here we have more yarn that I'm excited about first up we have this double sundae which is really scary because that topples over so easily uh, but this is another yarn I got at Sunnes Garn Outlet, this double sundae in this do lovely lilac and when I first looked at it I thought I'd do another Marseille because I love my Marseille but it's white and it gets messy easily so I want a Marseille that's not white and I can use more out and about but the longer I have this yarn in my stash the more I think I might want to try to do my own design with this yarn just make a sweater without a pattern on four millimeter needles I think that would be a really fun challenge but that's also definitely a fall project so that's why it's more like down in the shelf instead of higher up um, and then we have this pickles I also hope that doesn't be fall down but this is also something I might want to get my needles in um, this summer the really bright red is also just a really nice summer color to me um, but I really want to knit with this but I've been so unsure about what sweater to do but I think I've figured that out now I think I want to do the Våra Gensel by uh, Havre Geet. I don't know <laughs> exactly what the design name is but I think it is like Havre or something but Våra Gensel I don't know if that's in English but it is a really nice pattern for a sweater with these yarn overs and I just really like the look of that pattern and I think that might be really nice in red so hopefully I'll be able to make that in red during the summer I think in like late summer this could be a really nice project to have and then my next to last uh, project for myself oh this doesn't work out because this doesn't have the thing around it but that's this yarn drops daisy I've had this for so long and I'm still I've still not been able to cast on but this is going to be a zipper sweater I'm really excited about this the zipper sweater light um I as I've said I planned this for really long hopefully I'll get it on my needles this also feels like early summer or late summer to me I don't think I want to knit the super sweater in like peak of summer um, but this is definitely also a project I really want to cast on especially now that I've finally been able to try uh, Drop Stacy this is definitely something I want on my needles because I love working with Drop Stacy 
and this is in the moss green color and I'm just racing through my knitting plans because I, I don't want to keep you for too long um, um, this is just like me racing through them and I'll probably talk about them more in depth once they're finally on my needles um, but my last plan is to take this yarn that is Viking Yarn Superwash and turn it into a Maru sweater um, that's something I'm really excited about I think I have a bit uh, of a small amount of this navy blue I think I only have eight skeins and the pattern recommends me having like 10 or 11 but I do like my sweaters a bit cropped and I think I could probably get away with doing it in small instead of medium um, I don't know if that would work out but I think I'm going to just chance it and do it and if it turns out a bit small or a bit weird I'll either give it away or do it again but that's also a plan don't know when I'm going to do it it's quite thick yarn um, maybe the fall is better for more traditional knitting than in the middle of summer but it's definitely one of my plants that I'm really excited for but it's right at the bottom of the shelf so it's not something that's going to happen like this month um, but those are my knitting plants I think those are all of my knitting plants and I have also shown all of the yarn not super in depth but um, I didn't want this video to be uh, like 24 hours long and it's taking me a lot of time to go through this stash there is definitely a lot of yarn and from now on I am definitely on a yarn ban I actually haven't bought that much yarn this year I have bought the yarn I did at the Sunless Garn outlet but other than that I haven't bought a lot of course also for the wedding dress but uh, on those things so I am quite pleased with that and hopefully I will keep myself to that I don't want to buy any more yarn uh, this year uh, gifts are allowed and if I get, get in for my birthday or Christmas or like gift cards or anything that's allowed but I don't want to go out and buy yarn myself without like a gift card or anything that's kind of my goal and hopefully I'll at least get my yarn stash to a point where um, everything fits on the desk because now I have a lot in bags that does not fit on the desk or in those plastic containers everything I want to get to a point where everything fits uh, in my yarn stash but for now I'm pleased with it I love having all of these yarns uh, it really makes me like bubble over with creativity and I love being able to just sit and ponder what to do with the yarn and having always having something to cast on and work on so I'm definitely comfortable with my stash being quite big but I don't want to get more because when I have so much yarn I have plans so I don't want to like over indulge and get yarn instead of knit with the things I have but all of that being said I hope you enjoyed this video of me going through my yarn stash organizing it sharing my plans and everything I did during this video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe and remember to hit that bell so you get reminded when I post new videos. Bye!